Hello everyone, I'm Avril Zhou, living in the bottom of the society in China. And today's topic is about eight major changes happening in China society. And by the way, I take some videos about an ancient town, and you can do the sightseeing for pleasure. Okay, now let's go. Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about the changes that have been happening in Chinese society over the past two years. There is an article online that mentions eight major transformations. Let's take a look at what these eight transformations are. Slow decline in housing prices. This one doesn't need much explanation, it's well known. With the oversupply of commercial housing and the decreasing willingness of residents to buy, it's no surprise that housing prices are falling. However, this doesn't mean that prices will plummet, rather, they will tend to stabilize. If you have the financial capability, you can consider buying a house, but avoid investing blindly and decked within your means. Increase in rental housing. Why? Because many people are now unwilling to buy houses and prefer to rent instead. As a result, the demand for rental housing increases, and naturally rents will also rise. However, this doesn't mean that rents will skyrocket, they will increase steadily. If you need to rent, negotiate well to secure a high-cost performance rental. Decrease in car prices. It needs no explanation, it's an industrial product, naturally subject to competition. Additionally, with more people choosing new energy vehicles, the prices of traditional fuel or vehicles are dropping. If you're planning to buy a car, you might want to wait a bit, catch a good deal. Increased difficulty in employment. This one is also obvious. Nowadays, it's not uncommon for college graduates to be unemployed right after graduation. Various reasons contribute to this, making job hunting increasingly difficult. If you haven't graduated yet, focus on studying and improving your competitiveness. If you have graduated, accumulate experience and continually enhance your skills. Rise in savings awareness. Due to the uncertain social situation and difficult employment conditions, many people are becoming more conscious about saving money. This is a positive trend because saving can help mitigate risk. If you plan to save, try these methods, set up a savings plan, establish savings goals, choose suitable savings methods such as bank deposits or regular investments in funds, and persist without giving up halfway. Decrease in marriage and birth rates. This is also a societal phenomenon. With a weak economy and high costs of raising children, many young people are reluctant to get married and have children. If you face similar concerns, talk to family and friends for advice. Increase in returning to rural areas. In the past, rural people moved to cities, but now urban people are moving back to rural areas. This might be due to high living costs and job pressure in cities, leading many to seek a better life in the countryside. If you are considering moving back to a rural area, do thorough research on the local living conditions and development prospect. Re-employment of elderly people. On one hand, young people are struggling to find jobs, while on the other hand, elderly people are being reemployed. This could be because companies need experienced employees and elderly people fit this requirement. If you are retired but wish to continue working, keep an eye on re-employment opportunities for seniors. In summary, the past two years have indeed brought many changes to society. These changes have greatly impacted our lives. We need to be mentally prepared and face them positively. That's all for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you like my program, please subscribe and share. You can also leave comments below.